Welcome. This will be a quick tutorial on how to use the Live Print Customer Portal. First, you'll need to request access. Once approved, you receive an email with credentials of how to log in. Let's assume you already received those credentials and let's go ahead and enter the portal. This is our Create or Select Project screen. This will allow you to create new projects, edit or duplicate existing projects, perhaps if a new activation is similar to one that you have already done in the past. But since this may be your first time logging into the tool, let's go ahead and create a new project. This is the Mosaic Options page. This will allow you to dial in the specific settings for your activation. First, we'll want to go ahead and enter the Mosaic Config Settings page. First, we'll want to give our project a unique name, something that is simple, concise, yet related to the activation we're currently working on. For this, let's call it King. On the left-hand side, we'll see settings that relate to our specific Mosaic build. Let's go ahead and select an accordion wall that's 10 feet by 6 feet with 2 inch cells. Let's also select, for mock-up purposes, two cell libraries, social and lifestyle. Let's also select our mosaic source image. This is the image that we're actually going to be building on site. Once that's selected and uploaded, we can click the render button. This will take about 10 to 15 seconds and we'll actually get an output of what the mosaic might look like on site. Once complete, you can dial in the color enhancement and source overlays to your liking. Once you have that in a good spot, you can go ahead and download the mosaic mock-up and actually send that over to your client for approval. That pretty much wraps up this page. Let's go ahead and save it. The next step would be to customize the mosaic grid, the surface that the stickers get put onto. Let's go ahead and enter that step. Since we selected the accordion wall in the previous mosaic configuration step, we're presented with a few more options. We can customize the grid background. Let's go ahead and select an image for that. We can change our wall background color. Let's go with black to fit the theme of the line here. And we can also add a custom header, header and footer if our client wants branding. But let's go ahead and save these settings since we're pretty much done here. And we'll also go back to the options page. Next, let's dive into customizing the camera app. Here we can customize how the Mosaic Capture app will work with your system. For this activation, we want to do a front-facing camera similar to a photo booth with a countdown timer. We're not going to implement any Mosaic data capture or green screen backgrounds. Let's go ahead and save that step. The next step we'll look into is optional but it can provide a great keepsake for your guests. Let's go ahead and enter the takeaway options page. We have three great options of printouts that users can take away. We have branded takeaway stickers, the same size as the tiles that go on the mosaic wall. We have larger branded takeaways, both five by seven and four by six, and also mosaic me takeaway, both five by seven and four by six. For this activation, we're gonna do a five by seven, and we're actually gonna add a custom branded footer and you actually get to see a preview right here. Let's go ahead and save this step and go back to the options page. The only other thing we'll need to make our event a success are the supplies. So let's go ahead and go into the order supplies page. You can order extra supplies at any time, but if you completed the first step of the options page, the mosaic configurations, we'll go ahead and recommend the amount of paper and ink you'll need. We'll then we'll go through the ordering process right here. So let's just go back to the options page. Great, we have successfully completed all the necessary steps to compile our project. At the bottom of the options page, we'll see an orange compile project. Let's go ahead and click it. In the background, we are compiling all the necessary assets for you to download. Once ready, these buttons will turn orange. This will take a few minutes. Be sure not to close this page while we are compiling your project. Once complete, Go ahead and download both the project and the grid. Be sure to unzip the project and test it out on your laptop. If there are any issues, please feel free to contact us. We're here to help. Thanks.